hello and good morning to everyone. Shabbat shalom to you that are going to be joining me on this a very brief live broadcast. Um, I have a message that I'm going to be sharing with my listening and viewing audience. Bear with me one moment here. I'm getting a strong sense just by what I see that many of our people just are not getting the truth of our condition. That was actually prophesied long ago. It was prophesied that we would be in the lands of our captivity. And there was a reason that we were gonna be here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all some shocking words that a white man email messaged me. Then I'm going to be giving a subsequent warning to the black community. From time to time, I do that, family, because the Bible commands us or tells us and mandates us to cry aloud and spare not and lift up our voices like trumpets in Zion and show our people their transgressions. <clears throat> uh, right now, the black world is filled with problems and issues and drama. Now, for those of you who would say, well, so are other people, so are other races of people. For those of you who wanna go there, we were told to cry aloud and spare not and lift up our voices like trumpets in Zion and show our people their transgressions. That's what we were told to do. See, the problem with us is that we always want to look at the other side and say what other people are doing, right? And that's a form of deflection. Hey, let's not talk about our stuff. Let's talk about their stuff. But their stuff is not what got us in the hot water that we're in today. My message will always be repent to the black community. Now, I want y'all to understand something. There were some things that were outlined in scripture that were so very clear, so very clear. And I'm only going to touch the surface of what I'm going to be talking about here today because I can't, can't even begin to do it in the, the short time that I'm going to be sharing with you this morning before we go uh, to our main live broadcast for Shabbat. But let me just read to you the shocking words of this email. Now, to me, it is no shock because I already know, okay? But some of y'all act like y'all just don't know why things are happening in the black community the way they are. Now, a lot of people who follow this ministry, they do know, okay? But some of the, a lot of people who follow um, this channel of our ministry, uh, they are not, some of them are not believers. Some of them are secular individuals who uh, don't even believe in the Bible. And so when they hear me say certain things, they act as if they are shocked, right? So I'm gonna be sharing these shocking words with you. Uh, this email says, hi, Deborah. Uh, the black world, as a matter of fact, let me just say this, this, this is a white man. He's always sending uh, messages about various things that are happening in the black community. And I could sit and I could say, um, I'm offended by some things, but, or I could look at these things and say, well, this is what the Bible said would happen. I can either be offended or I can acknowledge what the Bible says would happen while we were in these other nations. Many of you send me things. I get emails flooded with messages about this to cover and that to cover. Facebook, this to cover, that to cover. Many of you send me stories of things that are happening in and around the world. And sometimes I must say that my mind gets a little overloaded and I say, you know what? I'm not gonna even talk about that stuff. Some of the things that I apologize to many of you who share things with me and I don't get a chance to talk about it, but it's so many things that are happening in this world. But sometimes you just need to take a break from it all. But one thing I want y'all to understand what the Most High said about his people. He said that we were going to be a derision and a byword and a proverb 
in the minds and the eyes of these other nations. <laughs> this is what he said. He said they were going to look at us with a shaking of a head, saying, mm, mm, mm. look at them. Those are supposed to be the people of God, as the world calls them. But to be a derision, you know what that means? It means to be contemptuous, to, to be ridiculed or a mockery. These other nations, they mock us, they look at us. Now we can get upset all we want to, but the Most High said this stuff was going to happen. He said that they were going to look at us with a shaking of a head, shaking of the head and, and just saying, look at these people. They are regardless. Listen, y'all, regardless to what these other nations are doing, those of you who are not in the know, those of you who are secular people um, that come on my channel and you say, well, other people are doing this too, or other people are doing that too. That's not the point, y'all. We were the ones who were called to be a light in this world. So anyway, the statement that was made by this Gentile was that, um, it says, hi, Deborah, the black world may be dysfunctional, but at least there's never a dull moment. I'm sorry, but the black world is very interesting. Ain't that something? Now listen folk can sit up and be offended all they want they can sit up and they can say well who do they think they are all they want but at the end of the day the most high has said that this would happen never a dull moment mm -mm -mm. Lemon Dishonor says, notice that black people are the only people who have their personal business, all of their personal business all over YouTube every day. Mm, mm, mm. So listen, y'all. Now, again, you can say who cares what people say all you want. At the end of the day, the Most High said that this would happen. So you should care because he is the one who said it. And they are confirming what he said because he said that we, they would say it. Mm, mm, mm. We have become jesters and entertainment for the world. We have become that. And someone says, it's amazing how comfortable he was saying that. First of all, family, I don't want y'all to take offense to what the, 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 the man said. Don't take offense to it. Tie it to the Bible. That's what I did. Because, you know, sometimes we can sit back and we can say, man, who do they think they are? Or we can look at what the Bible says our condition would be. Mm, mm, mm. I don't want you all to be shocked. I want you to be in the know. I want you to understand that biblical prophecy is being fulfilled. He said that with a shaking of the head, these other nations were gonna look at us and mock us to scorn. That's what the Most High said. That's what the word of the Most High, that's what the Bible said. We all on the internet just, just cutting up. The internet has been likened to the Tower of Babel where anybody can throw up a profile on any social network and say all kinds of things and do all kinds of things and they will get a following of their buffoonery. And it's like, we are leading the charge in that. You can sit back and display every piece of dirty laundry that you want on these other nations, but it's not gonna make or break them. But guess who it does, make or break? Us, because we were the ones called to be a light to the world. Can we be honest with ourselves? 
Look on the screen here, y'all. If you look at the images on the screen here, look at these people, look at these faces. So-called Israelites, so-called people of the book from the tribe of Judah. Look at the images on the screen here. Are they representing the light of the world? Let's be honest with ourselves, y'all. If you were to see these people that the world knows, are we representing the light of the world? Yes, absolutely, Tiffany Gilbert, embarrassing. There's a lot of darkness in the black community. There are a lot of rebels in the black community. And it's not who you think it is either. See, a lot of men would have, have you to think that the women hold the charge in being the rebels in the black community. But as someone else said early on in the chat, because the head is sick, they, they, they said what we, we say all the time. They, they, they are saying what we say all the time. That if the head is sick, the whole body is sick. Someone says, even Yah must be shaking his head. Absolutely, yes, he is. Patricia Green says, we are in hot water for not keeping his covenant. Absolutely, that is the truth. Mm, mm, mm. Instead of us trying to get our houses in order, it's like we dig our heels in deeper in buffoonery, foolishness, and nonsense. That's why the Bible talks about only a remnant. Uh, Clarence Rogers wants to know where are the pictures of black women twerking, Sister Deborah. Why don't you start a channel, Clarence, and you put up a video or images of black women twerking. You can do that. I noticed you were one of the ones who were um, basically going in about Kevin Samuels and, and how he's being misrepresented in all of this. All his stuff is all on the internet for people to see for themselves. I've talked about women twerking before on this channel. Sometimes we don't have to just deal with that. I put these images because these are people that folk know about. I'm talking about people that are being celebrated. All of these people are high profile people. And for the person who says I'm part of the problem, well, what, what is your solution? See, the problem is our people don't like, they don't like to deal with the most high in the way that I'm speaking of. He wants us to repent. That's what he wants. But see, we don't want to repent. We want to just keep on digging our demon heels in deeper and deeper and deeper. As a people, we are showing forth darkness. We are showing forth darkness. We are propping up men who are encouraging you to be with prostitutes. Propping up a man who's in a, a, in a relationship where his woman is the head who continues to ridicule him before the whole world, propping up people who are telling their son that it's okay for you to be a daughter, propping up men who wanna have, what, 10, 15, 20 wives? I don't know how many he has. And calling himself God. So I went across the, the, the line here. I went across the board and I showed you that I'm talking about these high profile people. That's why I'm not talking about the twerkers because there are enough of you in the manosphere who do talk about the twerkers. If you wanna go hear more details and updates on the black women who are twerking, go to the manosphere, they will cover that for you. They will cover that for you. I've covered the black women twerking on this channel before. It is disgusting, it's degrading. And they do this mess for the attention of men. Because the head is sick, the whole body is sick. 
And so these other nations are looking at us and they are saying, and I'm going to read it once again for those who didn't hear me the first time. He says, hi, Deborah. The black world may be dysfunctional, but at least there's never a dull moment. I'm sorry, but the black world is very interesting. Mm, mm, mm. And we want to sit up here and act like we offended, like that's something so horrible for a person to say when the Bible said that they would say it. Mm, mm, mm. I've told y'all, I have told y'all, listen, I've told y'all that I have laid up nights crying over our people. Like Ali Ali says, black men, black gay men are twerking too. Yes. You want to talk about that, Clarence? See, the the least of our problems are black women twerking. (laughs) That's the least of it. Our Our problems are so spiritually messed up that twerking is the least of it. Twerking is in there, but that's not at the top of the list, dude. Ali Ali says, not only men, please. I see black gay men twerking as well. Okay, I already saw that one. They just repeated it. But see, it, it is really a sad day in the black community when the people that are propped up as icons are the ones who people celebrate and look up to and say, look, that's a role model. I've seen people call Will and Jada role models. I see how people look up Mm, mm, mm. to celebrities like Gabrielle and these um, basketball stars, these football stars. Mm, mm, mm. I have seen this. Like Leah Yisrael says, judgment is on our people. And that's the stuff, y'all, that keep me up crying at night sometimes. Sometimes you you look at this stuff and it, and it hits you. You, 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 you. It comes into your mind and it hits you. And you cannot control the tears. But you know what, though? I know that these are Yah-generated tears because that was a mandate that was placed on us as the children of the Most High Yah. He told the daughters of Zion to weep for our people, especially our men. In the book of Jeremiah, he says that I am calling for the daughters of Zion, the mourning women, to weep for the men of Judah. That's why sometimes, that's why sometimes it just hits me like a ton of bricks and I can't even control it. Sometimes I go over to my studio or I come over to my studio. That's where I am now bringing this message to you. Sometimes I come over to my studio And I flip over the do not disturb sign. And sometimes I just cry. It, when it hits you, you can't help it. You can't stop it. You can't control it. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, y'all. Ooh, hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I get a sense of sometimes. People just don't get, just don't get it. And when you see, I can't understand why some of us look around in the black community and we, we just don't get it. We just don't get it. Listen, y'all, 
me and my husband, we wanted to talk about something that happened to a good friend of ours that happened to his son at the hands of another black man. His son, 21 years old, his life was taken by another young black man that he was trying to help. This brother is so devastated right now that his young son who had his stuff together was trying to help another young man who didn't have his stuff together. And this young man took his life like it was nothing. And we want to sit and act like ain't nothing going on in the black community. We want to sit and we want to talk about what the white man is doing to us. Didn't you know that the Bible said that these other nations were going to rule with a rod of iron because of our wickedness? Mosai told us to turn from our wicked ways. He says, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. He says, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. But we just don't get it. We don't want to turn from our wicked ways. Even when the Most High is judging people, we don't even want to accept it or call it judgment. The Most High judging people. He's taking your last breath. He's taking people's last breath. He is putting them from among the living. Taking them from among the living. People who have openly sinful lives. People who don't even acknowledge the most high, don't even serve him. But we so messed up in our minds, we put these people right in heaven talking about rest and peace. We need to get in the book and understand that the most high is not playing with us. He ain't playing with us. But we want to play these ignorant games like we don't understand. That's what the, the Bible even prophesied that y'all. It said that the tribe of Judah would act as if they didn't understand what was happening. They would say, well, what have we done? We haven't done anything. Almost as if to say, what are you talking about, God? We haven't done anything. The scripture said that the tribe of Judah would be that way. As if we don't understand that his judgment is coming for us if we don't repent. It is going to overtake those who do not repent. Y'all know what it means to overtake something? Do you know what it means to overtake something? If you look at how a, a tsunami, it goes out it just ex exposes land and then it comes rushing back in at full force and then it overtakes those who are in its path. See, some of us, we walk around and we act as if we don't understand why the water has receded. That's the equivalent of saying, oh, the Most High doesn't see. You know, in the Bible it says how we would be saying, oh, he doesn't see, he doesn't know what I'm doing. He doesn't know what I'm up to. That is the water receding, y'all, it's going out and people get comfortable. They say, oh, he don't see, he don't know. But then that water comes rushing back and it overtakes. It comes rushing back and it overtakes and drowns you. Sister Fakria says the curses will run us down and run us over. That's what it means to overtake. Boom Boom Belinda says it will mow you down. Echoing Watchman's words from a message we did last year that the, the curses will mow you down.
Antonia Zion says, please understand that only a remnant. That's right, only a remnant. Only a remnant. Only a remnant. And I think our focus should be on making sure that we are part of that remnant. Because there comes a time where the Most High says, my spirit will not always strive with man. There's going to come a time to where he's going to let people go off into their own delusion. Mm, mm, mm. He's going to allow them to go out into their own delusion and live how they want to live. Someone was asking, how come the Most High don't just kill this one and that one and that one and this one? You have to understand certain things have been placed upon our people as a punishment. As a punishment. And so, he will allow certain things. This is why, notice what he said about false prophets. He says that our people, because they have itching ears, they are going to heap unto themselves false prophets that are going to say exactly what they want to hear. And he also said that in the last days, he says he was going to send a strong delusion. He said he was going to send it, y'all, so that people can believe a lie because they have not a love for the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Because people have pleasure in, unrighte in unrighteousness, the Most High says, he says, guess what? Since you got pleasure in unrighteousness, I'm going to send you a strong delusion. You're going to think that people like Kevin Samuels is my voice in the last days. You're going to think that this man who messes with hookers and encourages you to do the same is my voice in the last days. You're going to be so deluded in your mind that you're actually going to believe that. You're going to believe that people like the Smith family who have deviant, sexual, open lifestyles, you're going to believe that they, you are going to believe that they are good marital role models because you're going to be that deluded in your mind. You're going to believe that people who dress their son up as a girl and honor her as such or him as such you're going to believe that they are all right you're going to believe that these men who call themselves god the second com the second coming of jesus who have i don't know how many wives who have these weird sexual exploits that they publicize on youtube you're going to believe that they are men of the Most High Yah because they have a huge falling following. Someone in the chat says that there is going to be a great falling away. Absolutely. That is what we are seeing, a great falling away. Not just people falling away from the Most High, but falling away from anything that's righteous and holy. And the Bible tells you that this was going to happen. It says, woe unto them that call good evil and evil good. These people on the screen here have been called good at some point by some of our people. Saying that they are doing a good, magnificent work. Our people, the tribe of Judah, y'all, calling the man on the left. A lot of our men were calling him God or Godfather or the goat. Someone in the chat brought out that the goat is actually representative of Baphomet. Listen, wickedness among our people, amongst our people is at an all time high. At an all time high, and yet we celebrate in this mess like something good is happening. Tom, we finally arrived, arrived where? Where did you arrive to? When you start celebrating wickedness, 
you have arrived absolutely nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. That's where you have arrived. The Most High is tired of our foolishness. This is why he says judgment begins with the house of Yah. And that's where the judgment is. And we all, we sit back and we watch the funerals. We, we weep and we cry. And we say rest in peace to people who were not living in peace. People who were living raggedy, messy, godless lives on earth. We telling them to rest in peace. When the Most High comes for one, for someone, and openly judges them for all to see, we sit back and declare that they were all right, that they were good people, as if the Most High got it wrong. We don't even know how to rightly divide or discern what's happening. Evil men waxing worse and worse, just like the Bible said that evil men would wax worse and worse. And that's women too, y'all. Even though the Bible didn't say evil women will wax worse and worse, it said evil men. It's talking about men and women too. Waxing worse and worse. All kinds of things happening on planet Earth. And black people running around in la-la land like there's no tomorrow. Birdie Man posts the scripture in Ecclesiasticus 3 and 26. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last. And he that loveth danger shall perish therein. That's right. Someone posted that hell is expanding. Yes, that's right. The Bible says hell hath enlarged herself. Why is hell enlarging itself? Why? Hell is enlarging itself because people, as they are born upon this earth, more and more wickedness is unfolding. To the daughters of Zion, I want you to adhere to the mandate that has been placed upon us by the Most High himself. In his word, he said to the daughters of Zion, the Most High said to the daughters of Zion, that I want you to weep for the men of Judah. Mourn, call for the mourning women, that they may weep and cry for the sins of our men. This is what we must do. Even though it says call for the mourning women, even our brothers, there are those of our brothers that are crying out to the Most High as well for the sins of our people. Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet. He wept for the sins of our people. We are all called to admonish one, ad one another daily. The Bible says, admonish one another daily while it is today. They're going to be, continue to be those who are going to be mocking and scorning and ridiculing and, and saying their evil things and trying to cast their wicked evil spells. I just did a, a video recently about messy witchcraft in the black community where you have people who want to call good evil and evil good because they don't want you talking about their mess. So they want to cast wicked spells. They want to say or try to pretend as if those who are trying to cry aloud and spare not. They're trying to make it as if those are the ones who are the problem. They want to tell you to stay out of their business. But when the Most High gets to dealing with them with that harsh hand of judgment, they want you all up in their business praying for them. Hey, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for my family. When the Most High lays down that hammer. Mm, mm, mm. Birdie man. Post another scripture, Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be an evil in the city and Yahweh? Hold on, y'all. It's scrolling kind of fast here. I'm trying to get back up to it. Have not done it? Let me read that again. Amos 3 and 6. 
shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and Yahweh hath not done it? For those of you who don't understand, listen y'all, let me tell y'all what that means. The Most High is in control. He hath set forth his word. He have said, look, the wages of sin is death because sin has increased in the world, right? The wages is death. So when that sin comes to fruition, when the, the punishment for the crime that has been committed comes to fruition, you're going to see that the Most High has allowed evil to stir up in the city and is directly linked to the wickedness of man and woman. He said, your wickedness is what brought this hell down on your head. This is when the scripture, notice how the scripture talks about the most high. He says, I am the one who sent the whirlwind. So even when the storms rise and the winds blow, who does it? Who does it? It is the most high Yah who does it. And you would be a fool not to fear him. The scripture says it's because of the fear of Yah that men depart from evil. So we can safely say that it's the lack of fear that causes the opposite. The lack of fear causes men to cleave to evil and to draw close to evil. Mm, mm, mm. When you have been turned over to a reprobate mind. I want you to understand this. When you're turned over to a reprobate mind, this is why you see sin growing and growing and growing because people have been turned over to their own minds to do those things which their hearts, their wicked hearts desire. That is what is happening, y'all. The Most High says, I'm gonna turn you over to your own self. I'm going to turn you over to your own self. If you want to do wickedness. Mm, mm, mm. You're going to be turned over to your own self. Thank you to my moderators who are moderating things. Because again, you see in the chat, men who don't want to take accountability for being the head. Talking about all they're seeing in the chat is that women don't want to be held accountable. That's the sad part of the black community. No, since you brought it up, the sad part of the black community is that the head is refusing to be the head. That's the sad part of the black community. The sad part of the black community is that the head is so sick that the whole community is now sick. The head is so sick in the black community. It's like a pandemic of the head's sickness has been sent around through the black community. It's like you pass your sickness on down to the women and the children. Since you want to talk about the sickness of the women, we're going to talk about the sickness of, of the head. You took in that sickness, you s sucked it in, you smoked it in, you sniffed it in, however it got in there is in there. And now you're passing that sick disease down to the rest of the community. Mm, mm, mm. Exactly like Sister Fakria says, a bunch of emotional men. Don't please don't put that emotion on display. What we what we need our men to do is fall on their knees and cry out for forgiveness and repent that's what we need the men to do and take back their headship their true headship being men of righteousness so that you can lead properly here's another one eve sinned first weren't you the same person in the chat yesterday hebrew elevation who said eve sinned first it was her she did it first like I said yesterday, grow up, grow up, okay? Grow up. The commandment was not, or the headship was not given to Eve. Now was it? The headship was given 
to Adam, to the man. So grow up. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, family, um, we've got to get ready for our next broadcast. Got to get ready for our next broadcast. I love you all, and I thank you for tuning in. I thank you very, very much for tuning in. Let's continue to pray for one another. We need it. We all need it. The community needs it. Just like K So Sweet says, Eve did sin first, but where was the head to correct her? Instead of correcting her, he just, he he said, "I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bite too. Give me a bite, Eve." Instead of him doing what he was supposed to do as the head, he said, "Give me a bite too." Now, Chris says Adam must take his headship aggressively because Eve ain't giving it up easily. Eve uh, Eve don't have it. When you say aggressively, it sounds like you want to be violent. You You sound like you think violence is the way. Take it aggressively. Eve don't have the headship. (laughs) Like someone pointed out yesterday, ain't nobody leading the black community right now. That's just more deflection. You can't take it aggressively. You just take it in in righteousness, not aggressively. See, that's the problem. Me and think being the brute beast is the answer to everything. Being a brute beast is not the answer. Take it in righteousness, not aggressively. Talking about Eve ain't giving it up easily. Remember that you all keep spouting the statistics about 70 to 85% of um, households being ran by females because they're single. So how is she the head? Mm, mm, mm. How is she heading anything? There's nothing to give up if there's no man there. And as far as black women leading, Ted says black, he disagrees. Black women lead the black community. Why is that? They're not leading because they, because they took over. They're going to school. They're getting jobs. They're getting high paying position. Is that what you mean by leading the black community? That ain't the leader leadership or headship I'm talking about. I'm talking about biblical headship, biblical leadership, not what black women are doing in the community by getting high paying jobs. That ain't what I'm talking about. A lot of y'all got it all twisted and mixed up. We are working on a project that is going to blow some of y'all's minds. It's going to blow some of y'all's minds, okay? Because the Most High, He has a way of doing things that's totally different than the way folk want to do things. The Most High has a way that is a, that's righteous. And he's going to get what he wants <laughs> at the end of the day. This is why he's going to be purging out the rebels. Purging. Y'all know what purge mean, right? I like what Todd Smith said here. He said the black man has become as a child because... He says, because we lost our head, which is our Lord or which is the most high. So when you all, and in a nutshell, what he is saying, when men begin to follow the lead of their head, which is the creator of the the creator of the, of the heavens and the earth, when y'all begin to follow y'all head, then you can be proper heads. But as long as you're uh, um, requiring and, and requesting and telling women and trying to beat them into submission and to following you. Mm, mm, mm. in your wickedness as long as you're trying to get women and force women to do that in your wickedness while you are not following your head this is why things are going to continue to be in shambles in the black community until you start to follow your head you will not be a proper head in households where men are following their head, you can see the evidence of that in households. 
You see the evidence of that. Okay, y'all, I got to get up out of here for real this time. I love you all. Thank you for joining us. Until the next broadcast, we will see you all later. Love you all. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.